What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did a lot. We got to Florama Town, and we did a little something something, and we defeated some Team Galactic Grunts. And now it is finally time to go, what? Yeah, it's finally time for us to go north of Route 205. Now, before we do anything, I need to buy some items because, well, we got, we kind of uh, had a little competition going up against Team Galactic, and yeah, we kind of need to uh, stock up on some stuff right here. Obviously, paralysis heals must is a must because, well, you know, your boy is the king of being para paralyzed, I should say, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and go with a few repels. Let's go with two more repels because, yeah, we kind of don't need that kind of situation right there, and, well, let's see, what kind of Pokeballs do you sell? And look at this. She she sells a few heal balls, so we're gonna go with an extra one and a net ball. I don't know why it would be a thousand, but still something. Anywho, let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and uh, go straight into Route 205. And uh, well, let's see. In the last episode, yes, we took care of a few a few people here and there. Got ourselves a Badoo and. Well, we're going to be battling. Now, we also captured ourselves a Pachirisu just for its pickup ability because we kind of do need a Pokemon with, uh, you know, pickup. We need to grab some items, you know, rare items. And, well, here we have Ponyta trying to hit us right here. So let's go with Lip Bubbly Beam. And just like that, Rosemont grows to level 13. Let's, let's make away with his Absorb Attack. And look at that. Okay, so we're kicking some butt, taking some names. Yes. Okay, so... Let's not get attacked by Pokemon, and let's get attacked by some trainers, as you can see. There is no mountain here, but I'm dressed like a... I'm dressed to hike. Ha ha ha, here it goes. Let's go. Okay, so here we are, taking on Hiker Daniel, and we're gonna speed this through, going with Mega Drain attacks. And, yes, Rosemon is gonna be... He, it's Yeah, it's gonna be growing levels like crazy right here, because, well... Yeah, we kinda wanted to evolve right there and then to the next stage. Due to happiness and, well, sunlight and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and... Wow, there are so many trainers right here. Let's go and switch it up. Let's go straight to Starblade right here. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this person. And, well... Look at that. She has a Rosalia. So this is the Pokemon we're trying to get to. And just like that, Starblade grows to level 14. Yes, we're kicking some butt and taking some names, and well, Starblade is finally evolving right here. Holy crud. That was quick. Never mind. Okay, so uh, another evolution for us right here. Yes, we are feeling established. And, uh, well, Starblade looking at uh, Staravia. Staravia? Staravia? Can't even uh, name it uh, properly, but yes. We got Staravia, and let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Staravia. And, well... Look at this, both normal and flying type Pokemon, and its stats have gone up a little bit. It's more of a physical attacker than anything, but its speed is right there, and it still has its same moves and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and move on to the next big thing right here. Obviously, there might be a hidden item right here. Should be a hidden item right here. I mean, what else could there be? There it is. We found ourselves a Stardust, and... Yes, we're going to be battling more trainers right here because, well, we kind of need to level up. So let's go back to Poseidon right here and move on ahead. So, Pokemon Platinum, as many of you guys already know, not one of my favorite, uh, well, not one of my favorite, uh, well, actually, let me rephrase that. The Sinnoh region is not really one of my favorite regions because, well, not a lot of, uh, a lot of, not a lot of things that, you know, impress me about it. Although, the story is pretty cool. It's just, uh, yeah, the, the, the story doesn't really get get to me and all that stuff. The only thing that's, I guess it's morbid is, what what's his name? Um, Cyrus, the, the leader of Team Galactic. To me, he's more of like the most evil, like he's the most evil, what was it called, uh, gang leader out there because he's like, wow, he really, really wants to make his own world. He hates people. So, let's go ahead and grab this, another heal bolt. That right there is always good, and, well, let's go ahead and bother her. And, well, let's go ahead and battle this person. She is coming out with a Bidoof, so let's go with Spark right here. Spark again, and... 
Petri is just coming out. I made that mistake. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Rosemon. And here we go. Again. And obviously we got hit. And wow, we lost. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with Poseidon right here. We may have made that mistake by just using or by getting hit by Pied, but there it is. Electro Star grows to level 15. And yes, we have improved just a little bit. But look at this Electro Star finally evolving too. Okay, so I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. Five episodes, we finally did this, and uh, well, holy crud, holy buckets. Look at this. Oh my god. Electro Star has now evolved into Luxio. Pretty good, a pretty good Pokemon right here, and uh, well, it doesn't learn anything. It really doesn't. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Luxio or Luxio, and uh, well, as you guys can see, it is a pure electric type Pokemon, and well, look at this. Stats has risen up just a tad bit. It is more a, uh, it is more of a physical attacker than anything, but. We're actually glad that our Pokemon are finally evolving. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon because, well, yeah, Rosemon needs to get back up there. I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Alrighty, guys, so we are back in, well, off screen. Yeah, I did battle quite a few Pokemon, Shellos, and uh, Rosemon grew to level, what, 15? And we already battled this guy right here. So we're going to be going into the next section of this whole area. And here we have a hiker. He's like, I have lost my way. Here's all here of all places. It's not really a hilly place, but still it is a you know place whatsoever. And well, here we're gonna take on a hiker, Nicholas. He's gonna be coming out with his onyx. As you guys can see, we're gonna have no mercy in this dojo with it with that onyx. And well, Rosemont is growing quickly. And well, let's go right ahead and grab this item. Here we found ourselves a repel. That's always nice, and what we need to do now is we're going to be switching up our Pokemon because Poseidon needs a little bit more love here, and well, let's see. Here we have a, what was it called, a a combat girl, I think, or a fighting girl, what was her name, let's see. Let's see, what's her name, battle girl, Kelsey wants the battle, she's coming out with her Machop, so let's go with some peck attacks right here, and just like that, we win. Yeah, she concedes. Okay, let's see. Another individual, and well, oh no, let's say, oh, I didn't know, should I play a little? Yes, you should. Let's go, speed it up, and here comes a Piplup, okay. Yeah, we're going with Peg Attacks right here, and just like that we win. Okay, Battle of the Penguins, right here on Draven XE 711, which was my older channel. If you guys remember that, that's uh, pretty ancient right there. Okay, so we found ourselves a super uh, super potion, and there might be one last thing here. I could be wrong. Okay, you won't be able to go there until after all that. So let's see. Talk to this guy. Poison type Pokemon, Internia. Okay, so yes, there are a lot of poison type Pokemon up there, and here you're going to be in the Eterna Forest, but you won't be able to go to the shortcut. So what needs to happen now is first is first, if you guys haven't healed up your Pokemon. I do believe you can talk to this lady right here, and she'll be healing up your Pokemon. Okay, so that's that. Talk to this guy, and repels are useful, don't you think? When you use a repel, weak Pokemon won't come out. But that also means there won't be any Pokemon to capture, which is true. So we're all healed up and ready to go. Let's go straight into the Eterna Forest. Now, in Pokemon Platinum, the first time you visit the Eterna Forest, this individual will be looking at you, and she's going to be like, Hello, uh, hello. my name is Cheryl, and you are? Okay, so your name is Draven. I sincere, I'm sincerely glad that, uh, to meet you. Draven, may I ask a big favor of you? I want you to get through, or I want to get through this big forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there are there is a sinister group co of people called Team Galactic about. I think they'd be, uh, or I think they'd be safety in numbers. Please, may I go through with you? And I have no choice, but there it is. Look at that. No choice. And yes, now that we're with her, two things can happen right here. You're going to be battling Pokemon in double forms. The other part, too, is that I don't think you'll be able to capture a Pokemon in double forms. Yeah. As you guys can see, you're going to be seeing quite a few Pokemon, but the problem is that you have, well, you, you have Cheryl with you and you won't be able to capture any Pokemon. Now, believe it or not, guys, no joke, one time I ran into a shiny Pokemon while I was with Cheryl, 
and unfortunately I wasn't be able, I wasn't able to capture that Pokemon. Now, as you guys can see, the rock is covered in moss. It feels pleasantly cool. This is where the next few evolutions or evolutions start up. This is where, or this is one of the methods of where you can actually evolve Eevee before, you know, the Leaf Stone and, you know, the Ice Stone were in effect right there. But yes, guys, I ran into, I literally ran into a shiny Pokemon one time with Cheryl and I was just like, very, very annoyed. So, hopefully it won't happen right here. And look at this, Baneary. Look at that. Okay, so Baneary looking pretty cool right there. Now, another cool thing about traveling with another another person in Pokemon Platinum is that they will be able to heal your Pokemon right there and then after every single battle. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be battling these guys real quickly. And the good thing is, well, the good thing for me is that I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this quickly because, well, shoot. Battling with the with the teammate is kind of hard. And we're going to go with the peck on this one. Especially when, when one has a uh, Chansey. And, well, we're going to be doing this again. And it looks like they're just targeting my Pokemon right here. And look at that. Okay, so Poseidon grows to level 21. And here's Silcoon. So what is Silcoon going to do to me? So let's go right ahead and just continue on right here. Peck attack. And just like that, we win. Okay. All righty. Whew. Okay, so... Let's see, what is next? Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Like I said before, guys, your Pokemon stay healed. Now, I think this would be a good place for Starblade. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Here, we're gonna find another Paralysis heal. And we're gonna be moving on right here. We're gonna keep on running. And here, we're gonna be going up against two, two Psychics, I believe. So here we go, battling both Psychics, coming out with Abras. And, well, let's go straight for a wing attack. And both these Abras are going to be going straight for hidden power attacks. And that right there is going to mess me up. Holy buckets. All right, let's go with Rosemon. As many of you guys already know, hidden power depends on what kind of, uh, like, it's just a whole mathematical thing. And, well, yeah. <laughs> Depending on the typing. And, well, Rosemon is learning a different move. What is it? Worry seed? And it's the seed that causes worry in a planted, uh is planted on a foe, it prevents sleeping from... Okay, never mind. No, that's not a good move that we're going to take. So give up on Worry Seed, and... Well, here comes an Egg Bomb, and just like that, we win. Thankfully, we don't need to, you know, use Revives or anything, because our Pokemon are already going to be healed. And, well... Let's see. Battling Pokemon. And, uh, well... <laughs> yes. Again... Be careful, because you might find a rare Pokemon, to, and, you know, it's good. Well, Cheryl's going to cost you and everything. So here we have Baneary and Badoof. And well, we're going to get away from that. Let's go right here. Grab this. Finding, finding ourselves a Netball. And, well, let's go ahead and get attacked by more Pokemon. And, yes, you can actually find yourself a Ghastly right here. And I think you guys already know that in this game, there's a big... And I mean big, big wrong to all Pokemon trainers. That is that an individual will trade you a Metacham for a Haunter. And you guys already know that, you know, getting a Haunter via trade will evolve it into Gengar. But in this game, there's a big middle finger. And that is that, well, shoot. <laughs> they put an Everstone on this Gengar or this Haunter. So that prevents any kind of evolution. So, yeah, I remember doing that. And, well, let's go right ahead and do this. And yes, we're gonna just, we're just gonna keep on uh, pressing the A button. That's right, destroy them. And Starblade, go, Starblade grows to level 16, and just like that, level 17. Look at this, we're boosting up our levels. It's pretty awesome, right there. Yeah, what would take like what would normally take five minutes in the, of our time is now taking like what, 45 seconds, at least 45 seconds, maybe even 30. I'm actually glad that we're doing this because, well, shoot, man, one of the biggest. Uh, I guess one of the biggest things that I didn't like about not just Pokemon Platinum, but the Dismumia app was that I wasn't using the right computer in order to get by this whole area right here. I remember that there was a massive lag, and I remember completing a few walkthroughs just via the, the massive lag and all that stuff. So, yeah, imagine doing that when you didn't know, well, when you didn't know that you needed a, what was it called, a, a gaming computer, and thankfully I got that now, so... Here we go, we're getting confused. Come on. There we go. And of course, 
Confusion's messing us up right here, and Softboiled's not doing anything, but look at this. We defeated another trainer. Okay, alrighty. So let's go ahead and move on right here, and is there anything else that we can find here? Probably not. And, well, here we have two other Pokemon. So, I bought myself Repels. Probably should be using them because, well, many of you guys are probably saying that Draven, seriously, Pels, they work. And this area right here, we've already been here, so, yeah. You can see how our confusion can uh, can over overcome us and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and finish off this whole thing. Yes, we do not get in, we do not need to get attacked by another Pokemon. And well, let's see. Here we are in another section of the Eterna Forest, and here we're gonna be finding another item. And yes, she's gonna be telling us that she can heal our Pokemon. And here we found ourselves a Green Shard, which many of you guys already know can be traded for something else. And it looks like to me we are at the very end. Beyond this point right here, you'll be able to find a haunted house. And here we are at the very end. And she's like, oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved. We finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Draven. This is my token of appreciation. Please accept it. And here we get ourselves the Soothe Bell, which, of course, will be used on uh, Rosemond in order to evolve it via happiness. The other part about that is that this Pokemon needs to be in the sunlight, so let's go right ahead and give this to our good old buddies, uh, Rosemond. And while we're at it, let's go right ahead and give this to Poseidon because, well, as I'm starting to realize, it's not really that fast of a Pokemon. Okay, so here we are in Route 205, and yes, we are going to be taking on some more trainers via speed. Yes, okay, alrighty. Let's go right ahead and move on right here. Going up here, you're going to be finding some, uh, you're going to be finding some berries, some cherry berries, and no, we do not want to plant some berries. And you will also find yourself another tree right here where you can actually slap some, uh, honey. And, well, let's go right ahead and grab this, and yes, we are now fixed with the berries, and, well, here we're going to be finding ourselves a super potion. Always a big, big must right there, and before we go anywhere else, grab this, we found ourselves a guard spec. And, uh, well, let's see, there are four trainers right here, and before we do anything, let's go right ahead and grab ourselves probably an item right here, nothing. Okay, so... If you go down here, we are still in the Eterna Forest, and unfortunately, we can't go through this area right now because we need cut. So, let's go right ahead and start battling everybody that we see right here. So, let's go straight with Electrostar, and let's go ahead and battle this guy since he probably does have a Magikarp. Some of these trainers won't battle you instantaneously because, well, they're probably fishing. At a certain amount, like a certain time of the day, they will probably battle you in. So far, god dang it, man. These Pokemon are not letting me win. So here we go, Mega Drain for the win. And Rosemont grows to level 17. Look at that. Okay, so it's quickly becoming our strongest Pokemon right here. Alrighty. Here we go with Starblade. Wing attack. Don't you just hate those fishermen? They only, and I mean only, have Magikarp. I do. I really do. Okay, so here we go. Wing attack. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Let's go with Poseidon right here. And there we go, another Magikarp. Don't penguins hunt uh, for fish? Kind of, kind of feel like that. That's the truth right there. So here we go, and just like that, we have defeated another trainer. So let's go right ahead and let's get let's get Rosemon, and we can't use that right here. So let's go ahead and get Rosemon to battle, and well, fish up another interesting batch of Pokemon right here. So Rosemon, let's go with Mega Drains, and here comes a Goldeen. And, wow, this Pokemon's confusing us. Holy crud. Okay, so you're poisoned, and there we go. We heal ourselves, and here comes a Magikarp. And just like that, we win. Level 18. That is right. So it's only a matter of time before our Pokemon starts, you know, before it evolves and all that stuff. But here we are, guys. Eterna City. And, yeah, it took us, it took us, like, what, five episodes to do this? The big, the big picture for me right here, guys, in Pokemon Platinum is that I am probably going to be doing some long episodes, long five episodes, and we're going to be getting through maybe one or two things at a time. That way, 
That way we finish up this walkthrough a little quicker because you guys already know how it is. I want to get to the bigger stuff. I want to get to the more updated versions, but this is the reason why we're doing this. To correct some wrongs, have some fun with this. You know, the whole shebang right here. So anywho guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. If you guys want to get some merch from uh, the GLD official site, it's right down there. Anywho, I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in the Sinnoh region. See you guys.